Memphis-based cargo juggernaut FedEx is planning to add anti-missile lasers to some of its aircraft. The technology will look to counteract the effects of heat-seeking missiles, which have been known to strike aircraft on occasion. It specifically plans to make such modifications to the Airbus A321, an aircraft type that it does not currently have in its fleet. The FAA turned heads earlier this month when it announced that it was working on a proposal regarding the use of anti-missile lasers on commercial aircraft. The filing details a proposal for the Airbus A321-200, which FedEx is reportedly looking to modify with such defensive technology. The filing describes the new equipment as, quote, a novel or unusual design feature when compared to the state of technology envisioned in the airworthiness standards for transport category airplanes. Such technology is typically seen on exclusive aircraft like private jets or the US's modified Air Force One Boeing 747s. The FAA goes on to explain that, this design feature is a system that emits infrared laser energy outside the aircraft as a countermeasure against heat-seeking missiles. Of course, the use of anti-missile systems on commercial aircraft isn't completely unheard of. Indeed, as Simple Flying explored in a previous video, Israeli carriers have deployed such technology on their airliners since 2004. Israel's El Al was the first to use such systems, with a modification costing $1 million per aircraft. The proposal regarding the use of anti-missile laser systems on the Airbus A321 is a long-standing one. Specifically, Reuters reports that FedEx first applied for such modifications as early as October 2019. In any case, the project will likely remain a long-term goal for now. This is firstly because FedEx doesn't currently fly any Airbus A321s. At this stage, the FAA is inviting those interested to submit comments within a limited time frame, with the project still under review. The FAA's filing notes that several companies have been working on the design of anti-missile laser systems in recent years, noting that, in recent years in several incidents abroad, civilian aircraft were fired upon by man-portable air defense systems, or manpads. Looking back a little further into history, a notable example of such an attack involved a DHL Airbus A300. Departing from Baghdad, Iraq, in November 2003, its left wing took a hit from such a missile, prompting a miraculous injury-free emergency landing without hydraulics. Looking ahead, it'll certainly be interesting to see the impact of FedEx's proposed modifications. What do you make of FedEx's anti-missile ambitions? Do you think such technology will become more common in the future? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.